Food and life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. Dang. All right, the best bone marrow steak with fresh baguette you guys are gonna make at home, guys. Don't blame. Here we go. My baguette, or my Vietnamese baguette, actually, is the same recipe as my pizza dough recipe. So, three cups of flour going in to this. Tablespoon of dry yeast. Going in, half tablespoon salt. Eat this beautiful yeast. We got a tablespoon of sugar. Whisk this in. Once it's all combined, throw on your near mechanism. Make it <laughs> Plug it in. Tablespoon oil going in. Turn it on. One and a half cup of water. Slowly add it in. And we're gonna mix this for 20 minutes, all right? All right, 20 minutes in. Take this. Bad boy out, okay? Once you got this bad boy out, push you guys to the side here. That's what I'm gonna do, guys. Okay, so I'm not gonna make that much rolls. I'm gonna scrape this out a bit, just a tad bit. I'm just gonna do this, guys. You haven't seen this ever before, I'm just gonna do it. Crash <laughs> Oh, that's sticky, guys. That is very sticky. Try it again, guys, with some flour. Crush out! You haven't seen that before, right? <laughs> okay, half of this portion right here will go into here. And do this. We're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna throw this in the fridge for overnight for our white pizza crust tomorrow. All right? Okay, for the other half, oil around. Cover this, throw it into a warm area for an hour, all right? All right, one hour in. Bread's nice and crisp. Little flour on the counter here. Just a bit, guys, not a lot. That's a little too much, okay? Rip out your dough. Just because this dough is a little sticky and I'm not yet trained for this, I'm gonna cut with this, okay? Three ounce balls. Or 3.7. <laughs> 3.7 balls. Perfect. You want these even balls just because, or even dough balls just because it bakes perfectly into the oven there. How to make beautiful baguettes. So you take your 3.7 ounce balls. We're gonna roll it up like so. You see my hand? Just rolling it up like a hot dog. And we roll it, we put more pressure to the end than to the middle there, okay? I want a nice, fluffy, fat middle and crispy end, okay? Once you get to this part where you see a line like so, you guys see that? See that line? We're gonna pinch it in. See what I'm doing with my hand? Just pinching it in. Roll it again so it's nice and sealed. There it is. Nice, beautiful baguette. One more time with this angle. We're gonna roll the ends there. You see what I'm doing with my hand here? You see what I'm doing? I'm applying more pressure to the end than to the middle. That's how you make a Vietnamese baguette. You want nice, airy, and crunchy. You see this little opening here? We're just gonna pinch it in like so. Pinch it in very well. Cause you don't want it opening in the proofing process, okay? Roll it again. This way. Roll it. Once it's nice and rolled out, let it proof again for additional 30 minutes. All right, 30 minutes in, my oven's preheating at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. 
at the bottom of my oven, I got a nice water rack here. You can use a sharp knife or you can use a serrated knife to ingroove your baguettes. All right. Some of you guys are cringing right now. I just want to say, I'm not a baker. <laughs> and I gotta get a spray bottle too. Okay, everybody chill out, chill out. This works as well, okay? Got some water, nice light coat on each. Here we go, 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Toss it in, second wrap. We're gonna bake this for about eight minutes. We're gonna stick a butter here. We got two tablespoons of oil here. We got a piece of ribeye here. I'm gonna use my favorite seasoning salt for steak. Montreal. I'm gonna do both ends. Six minutes on each side. Ten minutes in. Woo! Our Vietnamese baguette. It's complete. What is? You guys want to see what I see? Perfection, my friend. Perfection. <laughs> Let them cool down before we get into guys. Who doesn't like a nice steak dinner with some fresh rolls, eh? 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 <laughs> Look at these bone marrows. They're beautiful, right? This is what I'm gonna do. Two tape or a tablespoon of olive oil. Or the oil. Olive oil. Next, I got this beautiful garlic spread here. I always love this stuff. Put a tablespoon of that in. Okay. We're gonna mix this in. It becomes a nice beautiful garlic paste. And like so guys. Then toss it in for about six to eight minutes or eight to ten minutes. Beautiful steak resting eight ten minutes. Okay. Here you are, my G. A little green to surprise the eyes. Here it is. This is. Bone marrow steak with fresh baguettes. When are you guys gonna come back? Quick time, guys, stop playing around. Throw the rest of the blood on top. Come through. Come through. Quit playing. Let's get into this guy. So, bone marrow steak, fresh baguettes. Can you go wrong? Hey, I want to show you guys first. The baguettes. Okay, still very hot. Ah. There it is. See that? Guys, quit playing around. Here, let's do this. May I? May I, guys? Bone marrow, your French or Vietnamese baguette. 
soft airy inside still very hot <laughs> i'm not gonna touch it i'll show you guys later when it cools down okay nobody say anything give me a second give me a second this boom there you guys see what i see Oof. I spread this bowl marrow all over this bread here. Yeah. Way better than pate. No, I'm not gonna say way better than pate. Come on. <laughs> Fine, let's go. Ta. Let's get it. Nice. Oh, I should have opened it for you guys. I don't know what I'm doing. Another one. Let's get it. Nice. Super pumped for this. Oh. Oh, unbelievable. All right. Fresh baguettes. Bone marrow. It's a match made in heaven. Oh my. It definitely is. That's just beautiful. That, my friends, just be on, be on, be on. Beautiful. Another one. Quick tap. Let's get it. Nice. I ain't gonna lie, though. That herb. That, uh, Johnson. Is it Johnson? Johnnyville? Johnny? Herb? Try it on bone marrow. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Look how soft this bread is. Look at the inside. Mmm. That's what I love by him. Ooh, it just squirted on me, guys. Oh, man. You see that? Oh, mm, another one. Oh, yeah, nice. Super pop this. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. You know that's heaven right there. Right there. Fresh baguettes. Oh, just spread it. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, not one. Let's get it. Nice. Soup pump for this. Mm hmm. All right. You can just eat this fresh baguette mm -hmm. with this garlic infused bone marrow here and call it a day. <laughs> Forget the steak. <laughs> okay, let's do it. I don't think you guys are all the ones that are complaining. Oh, that's not a mid rare pond. That's not a mid rare. More like a mid well. No, there's so much people complaining these days. So much people complaining these days. It's just the lighting, all right? I got a new lighting. How's that for you? Huh? Always whining. <laughs> Oh, now there's going to be people complaining. It's still mooing. <laughs> Super pop for this. Mm -hmm. I guess that's life, guys. You can do whatever you want in life. 
you were still gonna hit on something. Mm -hmm. That is delicate. Was that word again? <laughs> delicate. people complaining. I can't believe you're cutting a steak with your left hand. Oh. <laughs> I love you guys. Mm. Good old beautiful beef. my friend it's a pool of goodness right here you stick your bread in and it comes out flavorful mmm restaurant it's all about the bread right if you don't have good dinner rolls can you even call yourself a restaurant <laughs> mm -hmm. all right that's it guys hope you guys enjoy this one don't forget to subscribe if you haven't peace out